For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, meaning the stewardship of the grace of God, as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible, Paul being a chosen vessel to bear the name of Christ Jesus before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel, as you can see in Acts chapter 9, verse 15. The Gentiles being in the future a sense symbolic of those who will of their own free will repent during the latter half of the five month long hour of temptation. How that by revelation he, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which was only made available after Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, after which he ascended to the Father, which is when he opened the seven seals, as you can see in the vision John saw in Revelation chapters 5 through 8, with the opening of the seventh seal in Revelation chapter 8 verse 1 being followed by an angel casting fire of the altar into the earth as you can see in verse 5 and it was after that 10 day period on Pentecost that the Holy Spirit began speaking through the 12 apostles which was a type looking forward to what will happen during the 6th trumpet when those of the church in Philadelphia get delivered up to death which is one of Satan's names at which time the Holy Spirit will speak through them bringing the one. 144,000 who are the church in Smyrna, symbolized by the 12 in Acts chapter 19, out of the deception and back into God's family tree upon repentance along with whosoever will, which the Gentiles in the book of Acts are symbolic of, as you can see in Acts chapter 10 verses 45 and 46, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, this second world age being the age of salvation that God brought into being because of what happened in the first world age when Satan rebelled and a third followed, after which God destroyed the world that then was, as it's called in Second Peter chapter 3, and created this world age wherein whosoever will can be grafted back into God's family tree through Christ Jesus, whereof I was made a minister of the gospel, that is to say, according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Paul being one of the seven thousand Zadok who was used to preach the gospel of the true Christ to the Gentiles and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, the dispensation of the mystery being better translated as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ, meaning hidden from the beginning of this world age and the only way to go into the third world age which is the eternity is through Christ Jesus to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God including the wisdom to know and understand how to count the number of the beast which is 666 as you can see in the last verse of Revelation 13 two and a half months after Satan and his angels get cast from heaven to earth being when Satan appears as the Antichrist at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. Satan being the king of Tyrus, which means rock, as we know from Ezekiel 28, because he's the false rock, who is the father of the stones worn smooth, we're supposed to count, meaning the Kenites, and it's only through Christ Jesus we can obtain the wisdom it takes to know and understand the truth of God's word, whereby we're not deceived. The four hidden dynasties of the Kenites being how the seed of the mark of the beast gets planted in the foreheads of most Christians and at 666 is when it will come to fruition when most Christians begin to worship Satan instead of Christ which is what Antichrist means. So again to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in 
in Christ Jesus our Lord, the true rock, who doesn't return until the seventh trumpet, the seventh vial, and immediately after the half an hour written of in the seventh seal. In other words, immediately after the final half of the five-month-long hour of temptation, the true Christ will return as King of kings and Lord of lords, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him, wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Because as we saw in verse 18 of the last chapter, through him, meaning through the Lord Jesus Christ, we both, meaning those of Israel according to the flesh, as well as the Gentiles according to the flesh, if they're Christians, have access by one spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit, unto the Father. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, meaning the spiritual body as opposed to the flesh body, and it's at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns, all flesh gets destroyed, and those who are in Christ Jesus at that time, both in heaven and earth, will take part in the first resurrection, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, that all are one in Christ Jesus, and that all were one in the first world age, just as it will be again in the new Jerusalem in the third world age, after Satan and all who choose to follow him again after the thousand years are finished get blotted out of existence in the lake of fire, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, meaning for the remainder of this world age on up into the eternity, which is the third world age, world without end. Amen.